my channel. So today we are going to be setting up our brand new tower garden. So if you didn't see our tower garden unboxing and you want to see what it shows up as, you want to see our little baby introduction to like what the tower garden is, although you're probably gonna hear me re-explain it 10 billion times, um, I will have that video linked down below. But today, Farmer Dan is setting up the tower garden, so we are gonna give you your um, little step-by-step -step instructions on how to get this done. So I'm so excited. Let's do it. Zoe can't wait for the produce to grow. She's V excited. All right, pick a spot, set your green tub, wherever you're gonna plant your garden. You got your pump, put the pump not in the center, but on the side somewhere. Okay. And it's got little suction cups in there. Power through the hole. And the directions say to tie a little knot at the top of the power cord like this, just in case um, water runs down the power cord, it's not gonna run into the outlet, and cause a shock. Oh. So this kinda prevents that. What's a smart Don't little life hack? Until we are all done. <laughs> until the thing's full of water and everything. You're gonna pick up the main piece, and there's a blue tube. I'm gonna screw that in. So very this tight. is plastic stuff, so hand tightening is probably all you need. Just in case, I'm just gonna give it a little snug. Wow. Alright. Okay. Uh, now you're gonna do the same with the, the pump. That can't leak, but this can. You'll lose pressure at the top. Alright, so now we're gonna put in our rods. So uh, one side's got one wing nut and the other has two. So we're gonna take the wing nuts off and uh, one of the washers. On all these pieces, there's tons of holes. Mm -hmm. But there's two holes labeled A and B. So we're gonna start with hole number A and we're just gonna stick this down there. If you can't see the A and the B in the video, it's a plastic A and B, like in person. If you look for it, you can't miss it. We're using the inside holes, okay? There's holes everywhere. We're gonna use these, these inside holes. Going from underneath, putting that second wing nut on. Wing nuts are the best. They're so easy to work with. Mm. Oh, so you're putting that washer under there too, the washer and the wing. Yes. Washer first. Then the wing. Alright, now we're gonna take these wing nuts off. So we're gonna slide the next one down, but find the holes labeled B. Down it goes. And it's just gonna snap right in. It's not gonna snap in, there's no snap to this, but they're just gonna, you know the grooves are gonna line up. So now, so now we're going back to the A holes. We're just alternating A, B, A, B. So there's an A. There's a B. And an A again. So this is what the top looks like. Mm -hmm. If I could find these holes. So the tower garden caps off just like this. Normally, these wing nuts will just go on there, tie everything together. If you have the extension kit, it's gonna come with more of these and you continue stacking, but it's gonna give you another rod that's gonna tie into here. The rod's gonna extend and you can keep stacking these on top. To get the most out of your tower garden, like you've already spent over $500 to get this thing. So grab the extension kit to get you another couple tiers to get way more out of it. Yeah, when you were talking about that, I was like, how tall is that gonna be? But now that we're here looking at yeah. it, I'm like, I'm not saying it's lame without the extension kit, but I'm kind of like, wait, that's it? I mean, you still get to grow 20 mm -hmm. plants, but exactly, if you've already gone in this far, it's like, you might as well go you, up if you, you don't even need a stepladder. 
No. I mean, I well, suppose. Well, how tall you are. I don't know how um, how far this will let you go. So the brand of pump that they send you with um, inside the box shows like the whole line of pumps. So the one they give you is like right in the middle. There's three pumps that you can get that are more powerful. So you can grow this thing as tall as you want. You're just gonna need to get a more powerful pump to get that water all the way up to the top tier. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to get the extension kit, man. I'm impressed, but hey, look, we are not done. We're only halfway through this video. Oh, that's right, because you got to add on the, the but, uh, stabilizing thing and the light this kit. This is the top thing. Here's the lid. And uh, so water is going to be shooting up. Water is going to come out of here and then it's just going to trickle down these holes. Oh. This lid's going to be on the top. You're supposed to adjust the pump so the water doesn't actually shoot and hit the top because you don't want it to be leaking over the outside because then it's going to spill. And in our case, on the hardwood floor that we don't want. There is a little door that plugs this opening. Just sits on oh, top of cute. it. Oh, that's cute. Got this timer too. That's not going on until the end. But here's the timer, and so tower garden is going to be plugged into here, and then this timer is going to be plugged into the wall. All right. So what's happening, Boo? This is the uh, the support kit. Yes. Support for the plants or support for the lights. Yes. So we got the rings, plastic tubes, rods. First, we got the steel rods. So one side uh, has just wing nuts, and the other side has a wing nut and a hex nut. Sweet, sweet. So in the green tub, there's a hole. So we're gonna find that and match it with the hole in the lid. Okay, take this wing nut off. So the hex nut is there. You can't spin the wing nut, which defeats the whole fun of having a wing nut. So. You mean because it's just like so tight? Uh, there's a lip under here. Oh, so you have to spin the top. Nothing. So it's like, it's like self-locking. So you just spin, spin the rod and then uh, you're good. Now, we've got these tubes. You're gonna start with two tubes. Ooh, can I do it too? No, we're done. Oh. <laughs> one, one, down. Can so I put next, the next two on? It's like these little tubes. Such a... They just press together like Legos. Your dream. Yeah. Next row. Next row. Woo! So easy, even I can get it. Put that in there. What is this? Yeah. Okay, I can do both sides. These rings, you see on one side, they have this nub right here. Yeah. This nub faces up. If you have it flipped the other way, then you're not gonna be able to thread this wing nut all the way down. These lips on here kind of just make sure that wing nut's never gonna spin itself out. The lighting kit. All right. Take the light bulbs out. <laughs> The top of the tower garden. Yeah. You don't need this piece anymore. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, <laughs> it comes with its own part, which is this honking piece right here. Mm -hmm. So you can just adjust this wherever your plants need the light. And I'm assuming you just plug in the uh, light bulbs. Yeah. So these are not lights that you can get from Home Depot. Inside, you've got this little connection piece. Got the male end on the bulb. Goes into the female end. Plug it in. We're connected. So now just grab this. Snap it in. Oh, snap. Well, I've already made my first mistake. Put the light bulb in when it's inside the cage. Because. Why is that a mistake? Right? The light bulb is supposed to be on the inside of the cage. But if it's uh. plugged in, then you're never going to get it inside. Uh, so you have to put it inside and then do that. Yeah, because they're kind of tough. 
To once, unplug. Yeah, once you connect this part, they're locked in there. Um, Does it matter which side points in and which side points out? Because they're different. Yeah, so blind, light is not going to shine on this side. Mm. But um, it, it doesn't seem sense. like this lighting kit came with something that attaches the lights to the cage at all. And you think they but did? This is, a, like... this is a, like an upgraded system that I've seen around the internet. <laughs> I did it! So one thing I'd like to mention, let me just turn this over. There's a timer attached to the lighting system. Yeah, you can have the lights on a timer on all the time, on half the time. Dan found something. Yes, so upon further investigation, this piece in the lighting kit is uh, made Lighter. to hide the, the cord. So you separate this, and it's got the uh, Velcro and a double-sided sticky tape. It's not nifty. So I'm removing the sticky tape. Put the Velcro. Put this in here, and you line it up ah, in between the pods, just like this. Not, not on this section because later on I'm going to extend it. But right here. Perfect. Whoa. Just make sure it's stuck. All right. Take the power cord. Bring it down this way. Got this other half of the piece. Put the power cord in that channel. And then this basically just hides it in there. It snaps together. Isn't that convenient? Snapping. Who designed this? Dan Philippa? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so you said we're officially done now. We're officially done with the assembly. Get but we still have to uh, put the water in, uh, add the minerals, get the pH balance right, and uh, start our seedlings. Let there be light! It's so bright, you guys can't even tell in this video how bright it actually is. Yeah. So with the extension kit, this lighting kit, is gonna be up here, but you can still get the light. Yeah, because it's flooding everywhere. They, It's just hard to tell in this yeah, video. Yeah, so I can adjust these wherever. Wherever I get uh, my placement, I'll probably grab a couple white zip ties and just Zip tie it to the to the support page, just so they don't uh, move around, just well, to make everything more solid. Zoe is very impressed. But yeah, I'm excited to grow freaking kale. Oh my gosh, me too. Lettuce, and cucumbers. 